Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, coming to you once again from the Turner Crossing community here at the border of Buda and Austin. We're, we're touring this Meritage, Meritage Homes. It is the Callahan Thorplan. It is right over 1,700 square feet of interior space, one story, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's being offered right now at 374. They have some great incentives tied to using their lender probably. So if you wanna get more detail on those, just get in touch with me, follow the link in the description down below. So we do have gutters. That is always, always great to see. We do have also this cover porch right up in here. So love to see that. Let me just give you a quick 360 of the area. Now they were, we're around uh, 0.6 miles from the amenity center. They do have a playground and a pool, so it is around a 10 minute walk just to get there. So we do have this front door in here with the keypad access. I'm a big fan of that feature. Especially if you do forget your keys. So here at the front of the house, on that side, we have two bedrooms plus a bathroom. There's to the left, another bedroom and access to your two-car garage. But we're gonna get started here at the front of the house. I just wanted to give you a quick 360 of this area. And now we're gonna head over to the front again. So we have vinyl plank flooring in the main living areas and here in the bedrooms, as you can see, we have carpet. This is the bedroom at the front of the house. You have the two windows right in there, carpet flooring. We got tall ceilings. And then behind this door, we do have a good size closet. Again, this home is right on right under 1,700 square feet of interior space. It is a four bedrooms, two bathrooms. One of those bathrooms being this one right in here. We do have the single vanity in here. I would have loved to see two just for the size of this home. If you have the three bedrooms, I would have loved to see an extra one in there. Now, if you continue going, you'll f walk into the second bedroom here at the front left of the house. This one only has one window compared to the previous one that had two. And the closet is around the same size, so we won't spend much time in there. Last door we have to check in this area it is this storage but we're gonna move right now right across from the hall you do have your coat closet right in there an extra bedroom and then you do have your garage down deep this way with access right up there to your attic so we do have the garage door opener Same lift master we've seen on their builds around here. You do have your tankless water heater right in that corner. You have your rain bird right there on the right and your electric panel. You can see it there on the right of the frame as well as the garage door opener. We continue down the hall, we do have 
the last of the secondary bedrooms. So this is the third bedroom. Standard size bedroom. With a closet right behind these double doors. And then you have this coat closet. Right here, across the door from the garage. And you also have this space right here. So many things come to mind with what I will do with that space, but I would love to hear what you will do. So let me know down in the comments down below. Now the left, the last door before we go into the grand living area is your laundry room, already equipped with a washer and dryer. So again, Meritage is trying to save you. Save you and make it easy for you to move into a new home. So here in the grand living area, we have the kitchen to the left, living room to the right, and the dining will be back in there as always when we get to this area. First stop is the kitchen. Right there to the right, you do see the entrance to the primary bedroom. We do have a good size kitchen island. It's a working kitchen island. We have granite countertops. We do have this large single sink. Notice that this outlet has a USB-A and a USB-C outlet, so that always comes, comes in handy. This five burner st stove. All the appliances are by Whirlpool, so keep that in mind. We do have what it seems to be the standard distance between the counters and the island. And then on this side, we do have the Whirlpool fridge, dual doors with the ice and water dispenser, freezer on the left, fridge on the right. And then we do have this pantry. And as you probably notice, we do have the same vinyl flooring. This wash, dishwasher is right here in the island. And we do not have soft closing drawers. Right across from the kitchen, we have the living room. So you do have a ceiling fan in there. We have tall ceilings. And I feel like this is a great ser setup if you spend a lot of time cooking, but you also want to enjoy the show, some sports. So I love to have the TV living room area right across from the kitchen. Now, if we go to this end, we have the dining breakfast nook area as well as access to your covered patio and the two windows. While, while we're here, let's just go and take a look at this covered patio. It's a great size cover patio, good size lot. And just like with the previous homes, there is what it seems to be a busy road back in there. Let me show you over here the back of the house.
You do have gutters, so you have full gutters. You have the one outlet right over there. I'll clean my shoes real quick. And our last stop is going to be the primary bedroom right in here. We have those four large windows. Carpet flooring, tall ceilings. I love the bay window setup in there. And then on the other side over there, you can see the entrance to your primary bathroom. So this bedroom feels spacious, plenty of room for a king size bedroom. King size bedroom, a king size bed. And then here we have the primary bathroom. So we do have the walk-in shower and the vanity is right here on this side. We do have the dual vanities and this large mirror with two recess lighting lights right up in there. Right across from it, you do have the walk-in shower and you do have an extra small window up in there as well. So now towards the, the back of this primary bathroom we do have this large walk-in closet. This is a great size walk-in closet. Love to see it. And then right behind this door, you will find the toilet. We have the carpet flooring in the closet, then the vinyl plank flooring there in the primary bathroom. And I feel like that's the end of this tour. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you're ready to get started with your home search, Best thing you can do, just follow the link in the description down below. You could also give me a call or shoot me a text. Without further ado, I will see you on the next video. Cheers.